Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zeroes content. In today's video, we're going to discuss all about core sharing and all of the tips that you need to know. So first and foremost, you will be finding your core sharing button under your fate core. So here it is in the right hand side. So you click on it. So currently I do have a core sharing uh, for Dorka. So Dorka is actually a hero that doesn't have um, a black or gold fate core. Um, if you need to enhance her or to have her to give her better stats, obviously you need to equip her with a fate core. So that is where um, fate core sharing comes into play. So basically um, the stats of Annie are being shared with uh, with uh, Dorka. So if you can see here, these are the stats, the highest stats that I've shared with uh, with uh, Dorka so far. The previous one that I used was FC Lepin, but I just changed this actually yesterday and it's now FC Annie. But how do you use um, what you call this? How do you use your, your core sharing? So and how you did how do you determine which hero or which fate core are go are you going to use for a specific um, hero does that does not have any fate core? So actually um, if you guys are familiar uh, we currently have received three heroes that um, don't have fate cores, which you have Yuri, uh, Flynn, and um, by tomorrow you'll be getting Estelle. So these guys are perfect candidates for what you call this for uh, core sharing. Let's try to cancel this this one so that I could explain to you on more or less what fate cores to choose. Let's spend some zest for this one to activate it now. Okay, again, once you've seen the once you deactivate, for example, core sharing, and if you don't want to wait for the cooldown of six hours, you have to pay 100 zest for you to equip uh, another fate court to another hero. Okay, so who to choose? Let's say, for example, I don't know who to choose. Let's say, for example, I use um, I use uh, FC Sufraken. So I have a couple of copies of FC Shufraken's Fate Core here. Both both are have not been fusion. So take note if your Fate Core, if the Fate Core that you're going to use is not fusion or doesn't have um, copies of fusion, the stats that would appear there are very little. So you have only have combat power, attack, defense, and HP. But let's go back to, let's say for example, I go back to to this fate core it's actually been fused twice already so again for you guys to see it so i'll use this it's it's fusion 2 so if i click it and you can see there are a lot more stats actually um if uh fate cores have been have been fused already so tip number one use the fate core or use your 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 fate core for 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 core sharing that has the most number of fusions so again let's go back let's check out um i think i only have two here which have lev uh, which have level five fusions so i currently have if, if you can remember i have um annie so annie has very big stats beefed up already and um if again, if she was a, a a lower than five fusion, her her stats would would wouldn't be this good. So, basically, what I'm saying is, um, the stats that you'll be sharing are fusion stats, uh, nothing else. So even if you enhance the fate core, the only stats that you're going to give to the hero will be your fusion stats. Okay, so the other the other one, the other fusion, oh, sorry, the other um, fate core that I have five is actually Hecken. But Hecken stats, if you compare it with Annie, it's, it's, it's kind of different, but this is also at five fusion. So number one is to select the, the, the what do you call this, the fate core which has the highest fusion in your, in your, what do you call this, in your fate core um sharing then if you have the highest already like i have annie 5 and heckin 5 choose among them which is actually more more you know beneficial to the hero that you want to equip them to so for dorka i would rather actually 
I'm actually um, preferring that Dorka has increased attack stats. So if you can see here with Hekin at Fusion 5, he has 159. So let's go back to Annie. Let's check out Annie at Fusion 5. Annie at Fusion 5 is actually at 288. So a big difference between Hekin at Fusion 5 as well. So that is, that is why I'm I'm choosing um, Annie over Hekin. So we can actually share here. Okay, so basically if if you have you know identified more or less which stats that you are prefer or do you you prefer in terms of in terms of uh, bumping up a certain hero you can actually again choose that hero already prior to this i'll i'll show you actually the stats of uh, lepin because i just again i just changed this yesterday so if we're going to choose lepin lepin is at four so Again, her attack is at 194. Um, uh, Annie is Annie's is at 288. So, it's big difference. But again, it would depend on on the type of stat that you want to increase. Probably, you'd like to increase attack speed. So, if you can see here, um, Lepin is 3.56. Let's go back again to Annie. So, Annie has... 3.6 so a little bit of a bump but she actually also has the highest attack speed um, uh, when compared to Lepin as well so again for those who are summoning tomorrow for the Estelle banner you can actually uh, core share uh, Estelle as well and you can choose the highest uh, the highest fusion fate core that you have okay some of you probably don't have up to five uh, fusion but actually the highest or three or four will do okay so anyway guys let's fusion let's start fusion for annie here so this is going to be it so again we're back to annie at uh with with annie sorry we're back to dorka with annie as her fusion so again guys um put your comments down below um, hope this video helps you out in selecting the proper fate course or the proper type or the proper level of fate course for your core sharing. Anyway, guys, take care of yourselves. This is the Warden and I'm out.